Apache Hadoop in the cloud does make a lot of sense in really the traditional reasons why people are adopting the cloud in the enterprise today. Um, I think you know, with the cloud, you're bringing broad access to Hadoop and this great, awesome processing power, right? I mean, the, the nature of the cloud is to have, you know, hundreds or thousands of servers, if you will, and if you could think about then overlaying kind of processing and storage, which is really the core of Hadoop, right? MapReduce and HDFS, and giving access to people, I think that's really the, the primary um, objective around really adoption of the cloud, and Hadoop in particular within the cloud. Now, I think um, there's some supporting reasons as well. I think uh, the cloud presents a very easy way to get going with Hadoop. Um, as with uh, many other software, packages that are deployed in the cloud, you know, do you just download and start running or you know, just turn it on in, in the cloud? And I think that it really kind of eliminates the obstacle of, of getting going very quickly, right? Um, I also think that, you know, by having a cloud distribution, you can have a standard distribution that you're going to use within your organization, right? So that it's enterprise ready. Is it secure? Is it reliable? So Hortonworks is uh, very well aligned with the open source community. You know, I think of our engineers as somewhat kind of hybrid engineers. I feel that they work a bit for the community and for Hortonworks at the same time. Uh, this is the first time I've been in an organization where there's so many committers that I can go talk to and understand the technology a lot deeper. So, you know, what we do as an organization is we have a Hadoop distribution which is 100% open source. Every single line of code that we create and we write goes back into the community. Um, we're committed to that and it's really, you know, our, our, our theory is to really keep as close to the code line as possible for each one of the individual releases within within the Apache community. So if we're you know, making changes to you know, the version one code line, we make sure that we are never that far away from that, what's in the wild and what's in that release schedule. We feel that the open cloud really kind of, it's a benefit to Hortonworks in that it brings distribution for our solution into the, into the masses, yeah? which is great. And that's, that's wonderful for Hortonworks, but really I think ultimately, it brings a benefit to our customers. And to our customers, it's all about, you know, can I work near my data? You know, if I have this huge cloud and you know, I have cloud storage and you know, HDFS and MapReduce running in the cloud, well, then it makes sense to run near that, right? If I have all my data in the cloud, well, then I, it's a lot easier to move it around, if you will, right? So I think, A, work near your data, right? And if you think about big data, it's, it's huge amounts of data. Um, I think the other benefit, and I kind of referenced this before, is, you know, a lot of times you don't need Hadoop running all the time. You know, I just need to spin up a cluster so that I could do this kind of quick hit periodic processing, right? And so I think the cloud is a big benefit to our customers um, by providing kind of an on-demand cluster so we can do some quick work very, uh, you know, in, in the short term, if you will. Um, again, you know, I think this is kind of general, you know, cloud stuff, but, you know, there's no front, upfront capital expense, right? You don't need to go out and buy a rack full of servers to get to spin Hadoop up tomorrow. Right? You can go out and put your credit card into a, a, a cloud or go to the open cloud, spin up a cluster, and uh, you know get Hadoop running very quickly. I think it absolutely could be a piece of any open cloud platform today.